Ms. Luling, a very interesting debate this afternoon about the role of China. The Africans and the ACP countries are basically saying, though, while two elephants are fighting, the grass is the one that suffers. How did you feel about the outcome of the debate? Well, you know, I was a little bit surprised uh, also in committee already uh, that uh, the ACP countries didn't want that we uh, uh, say some facts in our resolution. And, uh, of course, there is a problem and we are preoccupied uh, by the orientation of Chinese uh, direct uh, economic investments, uh, especially in Africa, because uh, they grab all the natural resources, 86% of the exports uh, from Africa to China uh, are uh, natural resources. And uh, then China also inundates uh, the, the um, overflows, or how do you say in English, uh, the um, African markets with their low quality products. And they kill, uh, they kill African industries that try, that, that uh, are coming up. And uh, these are the facts. And I don't understand why the ACP countries don't want that we speak about these facts because if we speak of foreign direct investments we must speak about it. But, and but, they, but they are saying they are afraid to be crushed between the heavyweights from Europe and China. No, but we have we we don't uh, uh, use uh, this uh, field uh, for uh, quarrels with China, the EU. Uh, we just want, because we are the partners of the ACP, and I think we are good and honest partners since over 50 years now in this association, we give most of the money, most of the aid, then I think that we have to, the right to warn uh, uh, what is the orientation of some direct investments by China, who do not profit uh, the African uh, countries and then of course they have they say we have no interference of course they have no interference because if we say if you want our money and our aid you should uh, uh, respect democracy human rights transparency uh, you should fight corruption we say this the Chinese don't say anything. They just uh, invest, of course. Uh, uh, they grab all the natural resources because they need them. And this is dangerous for the development of Africa. And they don't want us to say this. If you imagine what they voted against, to, uh, I, I must tell you this, because nobody will be able to understand this. And I don't understand that our, some of our European colleagues uh, from the socialists, the Greens, and so on, that uh, they voted with them or abstained so that they won in order to get rid of uh, these uh, recycles and articles. But I can understand a little bit uh, the socialists and the communists, you know, ideologically they are very close uh, to the Chinese. But they should know, if they had been in China, that the Chinese uh, practice in China and where they invest here the most wild capitalism that you can imagine and we want to warn but are, 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 are you afraid then maybe that europe really is losing the battle with china here in africa no, we, are not, we don't want to we don't talk about losing a battle we just say that we must have also a dialogue with china and with the africans in order to see where is the level playing field for investments and which investments are good uh, for Africa and which are not. That's the only thing we want them to note and that is our preoccupation, our concern, and we want that we have a dialogue with China, China and Europe uh, uh, concerning these direct investments in Africa and other ACP countries, but uh, uh, notably in Africa. Uh, and uh, so that also the African talk with us and them about the orientation and about the consequences of some of these investments. That's the only thing we wanted to do. But, but now the statement here in Kigali uh, has no reference to China when it comes to foreign direct investment. Well, we, uh, everything that uh, uh, has been um, uh, deleted, uh, for instance, they deleted 
uh, that uh, Asia have demonstrated a strong interest in investing in ACP states. That's just, uh, what I would say, that's just a fact. We just say this. Why should they vote against it? Why should they vote against that foreign direct investments coming from China through state-owned companies have increased over the last years? Why don't they want to say this? It's the truth. Why don't they want to say that whereas Chinese foreign direct investment is only concentrated on the extractive industries in the interest of guaranteeing sufficient commodity supply for the growing Chinese industry, why don't they want to say this? It's the truth. Why do they want to say the truth? They're afraid because it's coming from Europe and Europe has colonized Africa and but now the Chinese are the new colonists of Africa, and if they can't, cannot understand this, it's really neocolonialism, neocolonialism, what the Chinese are practicing. And I didn't say that word, but I can say it now. And why don't they want to hear about it, you see? They want to hear from us. We are their partners. We are their honest partners. We are giving most of the aid, but of course we have conditions, and they don't like the conditions. And especially corrupt and incompetent uh, dictators here in Africa, they don't want to hear about human rights and uh, good governments from us. And uh, that is why uh, I don't uh, um, let it go through that we don't address this concern and we will make amendments in our resolution and see if the Europeans are going to vote against that.